Hi everyone, my name is Sanjeev. In this video, I want to demo how to configure API proxy for API. Using API proxy, we can govern the API, we can secure the API, we can apply the policies on API proxy, so we can govern the implementation API, we can implement validation for each and every request, for RAML, OAS, and SOAP. We use API proxy when API is running, but it is not hosted in mule runtime. That time, you need to create API proxy to govern the API. And if it is a mule application, and you cannot update that mule application, and you cannot apply auto discovery, then you need to use API proxy. You can use API proxy if you want to apply schema validation for each request for RAML, OAS, and SOAP API. For demo, I will move to the AnyPoint platform now. I logged into my AnyPoint platform account. I will go to the exchange. Here I have published the order API. In order API, I have a slash order, post and get endpoint, and I have slash order, slash ID, get, delete, and put endpoint. I have implemented this RAML API in AnyPoint Studio. So here I have used the API kit and API router to implement the order API and this is implementation. Here I have a slash order slash ID, put operation, delete operation and then get all orders, get orders by ID and post order that is create order. So I have implemented this using API kit and this is API router and this is the HTTP listener where my path is slash API slash star. I have deployed this uh, implementation in runtime manager. So let me go to the runtime manager. So this is a runtime manager. Here I have deployed the order API implementation. And this is the domain name. I will copy this domain name. And I will test the endpoint in Postman. slash api slash orders http colon slash slash I will click send button so I got all the orders so our api implementation is working let me send one more request slash 100 so we are trying to get the order number 100, click send, okay, we got the order number 100, let me try create order as well, and I will copy the sample request from here, go to the body, JSON, pasted here change the ID to 500 order number I will change it invoice number change it amount put 52 42 click send 
order created. So that means uh, we are able to hit this application, we are able to get all records, order by ID, all the orders and also we are able to create the order. Now I will go to the new tab. and I will go to the API manager and here I will create the proxy so you saw that we have a API implementation here and now for this API implementation I am going to create the API proxy. To know more about how to publish the API, how to create the API implementation and how to deploy the API implementation on Cloud Hub, you can watch my other videos. I will provide the link in description. Now I will show you how to create API proxy for this API implementation. So for that you have to go to the API manager then click add API, click add new API, select mule gateway and here you need to select deploy a proxy application. Target type Cloud Hub is fine because we are going to deploy on Cloud Hub. Runtime version 4.4.0 that is also correct. Proxy name we have to provide proxy name. So we can provide a my order API proxy this is fine or you can give the any unique name that is acceptable by Cloud Hub. Click next. Here we have to select the API that we published in exchange and we have published the order API in exchange. If we have published many API you can go ahead and you can search here. Right now I only have one API so I will select order API and you can see that asset type is RAML, version is B1, asset version is 1.0.0 but you can change it in my case. Uh, these are the latest version so I will select this version and click next here we can give API instance label we need to provide API implementation URL so that we have to create from here this is our API implementation we will copy the domain name from here and we will copy here we will put http colon slash slash and slash api this is the same implementation url that we used in postman right here to test our implementation order api implementation and that's what we are putting here. So this is our implementation URI. We don't have to give slash orders. Now I will click next. Here you can review that. What is the runtime version? Runtime type. API name and all. Version. Asset version. And this is API endpoint can copy this API endpoint and click save and deploy now our API proxy is being deployed in Cloud Hub 
it will take some time to get deployed but it's still deploying and this is our domain name okay our api proxy has been deployed this is a proxy url we can copy this and we can check the runtime manager and you can see that we have a my order api proxy it started already this is a separate application and this application will call order api implementation demo so first we will call this api proxy and api proxy will then call the order api demo order api implementation demo let me go to the api manager here you can see that status is active api name is order api version is b1 and instance name is this now i will use this this domain name to test the api so i will call this api proxy application to test the api implementation endpoints so i will go to the postman i will click new tab proxy api domain name http colon slash slash and here i will say slash orders now i will click the send button to get the all the orders So we got the all the orders and we are calling here proxy we are not calling order implementation api we are calling proxy and using proxy we are getting all this result now i will call the order by id click send here we got the order 100 now i will create the new order so i will go to the post method and endpoint is a slash orders and i will use the proxy i will go to the body raw json and i will copy this request to make a request payload i will change the id to 600 i will put uh, some order number invoice number and i will give the amount 6200 i will click send to create the order so our order has been created and we are using proxy to create the order so we are using proxy to access our api implementation we can create policies and we can apply the policies on the api proxy and uh, we can give the access to the api proxy instead of api implementation then we can govern the api using api proxy so api proxy we can use to govern the api and we can apply the policies we can create policies here and we can apply those policies on api proxy so this is all how to configure the api proxy for api i hope you understood how to configure api proxy for api if you like this video click the like button and subscribe our channel thanks for watching thank you very much